So here's a quick Blender tutorial on using the IV Generator add-on. Make sure you have that enabled. Go up to the Edit, Preferences, and then under the Add-ons, you should see Add Curve IV Gen, and you want to do the have the check mark there, so that's enabled. And then you need just some sort of an object that we're going to grow the IV on. I just took an Icosphere and uh, then stretched it out a little bit to make it into this sort of rock shape. And we're going to grow some IV up the rock. So the, what we want to do is do shift and then right click somewhere on the rock to place the uh, uh, 3D cursor onto the surface. And then you're going to go to the pop out panel over here and go down to the create panel and you should see the IV generator so we're going to open that up and then we have a bunch of different options here we're going to leave the grow leaves on we're just going to leave this all as the defaults at the moment and then just hit add new IV and so then it's going to grow some IV on our rock here and so you can see these are the leaves and I'm just going to set a material for them just so we have some color on it. Let's throw those to green, make them darker. And then we'll go into the material preview. And then for the, uh, the ivy curve, these are the branches. We'll go throw a material on there. Let's make this sort of a nice brown color. And that should do it. Uh, and so there you go. You can see how you can easily make some ivy. Uh, it's always going to grow up from the point that you have selected with that uh, 3D cursor. And then you can set sort of the, the size of the leaves, how probable it will be that it will produce leaves on any one sort of branch. And then uh, you can also set the, you know, how likely it is to make a branch each sort of uh, bit of distance that it travels and you can set the length longer if you want it to grow farther up your rock so let's do one over here shift right click to move the uh, the cursor and then let's make the length five meters and make the branching probability instead of 0.05 let's make it 0.1 and this should give us a more sort of uh, complicated and larger more enveloping uh, ivy and so we're going to make sure that you have the uh, object selected that you have the cursor on. And then add new ivy. And it'll take a few seconds to process. And there you can see we got a much more complicated, much larger uh, growth there. So let's go ahead and add on our materials just so that we can see it a little bit better. And there you go. So you can see uh, by upping the branching probability that it's branching out more uh, aggressively than the first one and by changing the length uh, is now going to grow much farther up our object it's always going to grow from the point we select with the cursor and then grow up the z direction uh, of the the world to uh, envelop the object with ivy so there you go there's a little uh, quick tutorial on using the ivy gen add-on